What's going on everybody? It's Frankie and today we're going to be touching on a topic that's a little different than uh, what I usually talk and if it's a little loud I apologize. I am outside a Starbucks and I didn't want to film inside the Starbucks because I that just like I'm not there yet I guess but um yeah but I wanted to start with saying that I am grateful for everything that I've like gotten um, all the sponsorships all the opportunities um, because of fitness right so if I've ever like had contact with anybody uh, if anybody's ever helped me out in anything with the space I'm in right now like thank you so much why is there so many fucking loud cars around here bro what the fuck but yeah I just wanted to start off by saying that I'm grateful and I don't want to sound like that I'm not grateful for everything that I've gotten because like I know not a lot of people get this opportunity that I've been presented and uh, they actually want to like live the influencer life or whatever the case is and they never get to right so I'm actually really grateful for anything all the opportunities that I've gotten but back in 2020 you know when I started making TikTok videos um, when everybody was just at home looking for like home workouts to do I didn't think I would get this far to where I am right now. I didn't think I'd grow such a large audience. And, and that's, I think like a lot of people think the same way. Like they never think they're gonna make it that far in whatever they're doing. But the truth is, is that if you keep working hard enough and you just keep uh, kind of pushing yourself to that, you know, next level, you're gonna make it in whatever you're doing, right? So that's um, something I kind of live by now. That's kind of what I want to get to today is how me losing 120 pounds kind of automatically put me in that uh, like space of the fitness industry and the weight loss community. I've enjoyed every second of being, you know, the guy that helps everybody lose weight, the guy who lost 120 pounds. Um, the guy that helps people lose weight is really what I'm most proud of because at the end of the day, I'm all about inspiring the people and uh, letting people know that, you know, weight loss is possible. And you know, from TikTok to Instagram, back and forth, you know, building my, my audiences in both on both platforms um, it's taken me like two years to get to where I'm at today and I'm extremely proud of it but making like TikToks and reels and I went through a stretch of where I was just uh, like daily posting twice a day going out making videos like that gets really draining for me as a person because I'm just going out and like making these videos and yes I'm helping people lose weight and helping them change their life but like I am still just kind of that guy. I'm just the guy who lost 120 pounds. I'm just the guy who points up, right? Um, and again, I, I, like I'm not like saying I don't like it, but it's getting really repetitive. And at some point, it, it even got draining to the point to where I had to stop making daily videos because it was just taking up too much of like my own time, my own like mental health also. And what I'm trying to get to also here is that uh, like making those short videos on TikTok and Instagram. You can't really see my personality or who I am shine through because we don't really have that connection um, through just like an 8 to 15 second video, right? It's just you seeing me uh, give out some recommendations on, on the internet, right? You don't really get to hear me speak. You don't really get to hear me say what I believe in, anything like that. So you just automatically like me because I'm helping people lose weight, I guess. And yeah, fitness is like a big part of my life, but it's not everything that that's me you get me and i really feel like my personality and who i am like a lot of people would enjoy just watching me be me because ever since i was in high school i had these big aspirations of you know being a fucking a fucking youtuber and making it big and i kind of let that dream go once i was getting too comfortable with instagram and tiktok blowing up and that's where i messed up right i got too comfortable and just like anything in life if you get comfortable with something um, you know, your opportunity to grow just kind of stops. So you, you can never be comfortable in whatever you're doing. But ever since like high school and everything, I knew I wanted to not fit in with people. And like, there's nothing wrong with fitting in, right? Like getting your nine to five. There's nothing wrong with that, right? That, that's just fucking life, bro. Uh, but I've never wanted to fit in. I wanted to be the person who stands out. And I tried so hard to do that in high school. And uh, you know, there's only so many people that will support you back then, especially coming from a really small school like I did, like a graduating class of 85, bro, like what the fuck. We thought I'd be something bigger, and uh, I mean, it's coming all into fruition now with everything I got going on, but um, I'm trying to get back to that I got too comfortable with what I was doing. I literally like had videos posted on my YouTube like six or seven years ago, but I, I just stopped making them because I was uh, getting comfortable with life in the sense that I was graduating high school, I was going to college, I was gonna fit in, right? I was fitting in. Um, and I mean, I graduated college or whatever. And, uh, but then I started doing my fitness stuff and it started taking off. So I was like, 
If I get comfortable now when I got this amazing opportunity at my door, so I might as well take it. And like, I, I've been taking it, right? Like, I, I'm sponsored by Young LA, Code Frankie, you know, big drop August 18th, like Shameless Plug and like other supplement companies and like Helamix. So I'm really grateful for all the people who've given a chance on me. But I, like, I still feel like it doesn't show who I am. Like, I'm just, again, a guy online who lost 120 pounds like I want to be able to show my personality to you guys um, especially here on YouTube which is essentially what I'm trying to get to is that my YouTube content will not just be solely based on fitness right like sure I'll sprinkle in videos here and there but at the end of the day I want people to like me at least on YouTube for who I am and for yeah my personality basically and I kind of want that also to carry on to like Instagram at least to where I could post what I want to post and I feel like I'm obligated to just post daily weight loss content I'm not saying I'm gonna stop posting daily uh, I'm not saying that I'm gonna stop posting weight loss content just because I know that's where my audience is mainly at because they want to lose weight and they know I lost weight but I kind of still want to just be able to be me and share the things I want to share without having to worry about losing followers or bad engagement because at the end of the day Again, I kind of just want to be liked for who I am and not just like my, my whole story, you know? But yeah, I'm just going to try to be changing things up. Um, that's what this whole video is about. I'm not quitting fitness. Um, I mean, fitness is a big part of me. I've been given so many opportunities because of my weight loss journey. So I'm really glad and grateful for all the decisions I've made in the fitness space. But I want to keep growing. I don't want to get too comfortable here, um, which is why I'm going to take YouTube a lot seriously, a lot more serious. Um, and just keep fucking moving like I can't just stop and get comfortable I can't stress that enough and if you're watching this and you need to hear this about getting too comfortable like get out of your fucking comfort zone bro and like make a change because um, if you don't adapt you're gonna like sink in whatever you're doing someone's gonna do it better and people are gonna forget about you but yeah uh, I'm gonna try to up my I'm gonna up my YouTube game it won't just be it won't just solely be fitness but I will sprinkle videos here and there um, so if you guys are watching to the end, let me know some videos you, you guys might want to see uh, in the comments down below. Always use code Frankie when you buy Young LA or Black Magic Supply. I'll leave the links down below. <coughs> Fuck. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope you guys stick with me through this whole, I guess, new journey that I'm going through. Um, and like, just trying to change my content and shit. Not change it, but kind of make a shift, right? But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to. Leave a like. Thank you.